it's Miss Jones and Noel here. Noel is a little winter white hamster. This is my daughter holding him. Oh, he's cleaning himself. That is so cute. Anyway, that's Noel. He's a little hamster. Oh my gosh, he's so cute when he does that. We've had him, we got him at Christmas. She had a hamster for three years, which is unusual. They don't usually live that long. And he passed away around Christmas time. And so we got Noel here. Um, thank you, Phoebe. You're welcome. Anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about the project and isolated um, time in history. You guys are creating something to go along with that. I heard from only about half of you guys completed your journal prompts last week. Um, that was a prompt you were supposed to complete on Wednesday. Um, and you were just supposed to read through the choices, watch the videos of the choices, and tell me which one you were going to, which project you were going to be doing. So if you have not done that, you need to do that. Remember that that is um, on the same document that you created the very first week of virtual learning. So you only have to submit that once, okay? But to show you about this week, we're still here, online learning 14 through 30. Um, you guys are all ready right here on April 20th. You're watching this video. Um, you don't have much to do today, okay, guys? All you're going to have to do is complete your journal. This will be your fourth journal entry. I do want to tell you guys, the journal entries are for points. That is going to go in next week in the grade book. Okay. So those are worth participation points. So make sure that you're doing that. Online learning is a great way for you guys to get your grade up. Okay. Um, today you're just supposed to write about your project, describe it. If it's art, what are you making? If it's a story, what's the plot? Um, if you're doing a podcast, exactly what are you talking about in that podcast? So I just want you guys really describing your project in detail and talk about how close you are to being done. If you need help, you can put all of that there. The other thing you need to know is that for all of your journal entries, you do need to be writing for 10 full minutes. Some of you guys are writing a sentence or two. You will not get full points for that because you can write more than that in 10 minutes. So make sure that you're filling up a 10 minute slot with your writing. If you run out of things to say about the prompt, then write about whatever you want. Okay. That's fine with me as well. So that's the, that's the first thing you're going to do today. All right. After that, it says work on your project. That's honestly all you guys have to do one 10 minute prompt and then work on your project. I do want to make sure though, that you guys did look at the rubric. So I'm going to pull that up. This is the rubric for the project. Also, as a reminder, anytime it pulls up a document, but it gives you like an, an error message right here in a gray, all you have to do is click right here and it'll open it up for you. All right. Now, regardless of which project you picked, um, it's all going to be graded on the same on the same rubric. OK, it's worth 16 points. So you're going to be graded on your idea, a, a clear idea of what the student is trying to achieve is mastered with related details, specifics and thoughtful presentation effort. This one's key, guys. Um, you should really try to do the best work that you can. Um, it's pretty easy to tell if you've thrown it together really quickly or if you put some effort into it. So you are going to be great on effort organization that it shows, um, you know, a clear purpose and a plan and your voice. You guys, that a theme emerges, that there's evidence. We want to be able to see your personality come through in this. I'll tell you, we have some really cool projects happening. Several podcasts, I think, that are going to be neat. Um, I know a girl's doing a comic strip. I think that's going to be a fantastic project. A lot of really neat ideas for drawings that students want to do that really ha are very symbolic of the times right now. So I'm excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. OK, if you have any questions, of course, email. But again, today, pretty easy. You just need to complete your fourth journal prompt um, and then work on your project. Um, as always, if you have questions, please, please just let me know. I see you guys a lot. I know that I say that every time, but it's true. So I'll talk to you soon.